Okay guys, we're gonna work on a little bit of uh, skill session. So a fair number, you said you had a ball, and I, I realize not everybody has one, but if you have a football, volleyball, anything you can just kind of do the same mechanics, it'll help you. It's not perfect, but it'll help. So we've done this in practice, usually at the beginning of practice, if you remember, where we're gonna do working on our passing. So Mr. Penga is gonna lead us through the first stage of this drill. Alright guys, so the first part is just the gunslinger, so you want to start with the ball on the outside of your hip. Alright, have nice fingertip control on the ball. All five of your fingertips should be connected to the ball. Um, elbow tied into the body and a slight tilt in your pelvis. Alright, and we're going to push the ball through and finish with our palm pointing to the ground. And if you do have a partner, have a target. Uh, and then give them some feedback and make sure they try to improve each time. Alternating hands. Now as you get better at this guys, you can take a couple steps back, but it's really it's about quality, not quantity. We don't want to do a lot of them poorly. We want to it's really break it down the skill to the micro skill of just with that hand movement. It's really where the pass comes from. Once you get comfortable with the distance, maybe take a step back and same thing. Okay, now you got to get a little bit more flick in your wrist. I always like to say that we're, we're punching the ball through. It's just like a straight punch. Okay, so guys, in these drills, you do what works for you. You got a lot of time. You can do sets of 10, sets of 20, but make sure you work on both your left and right hand. Um, you can make it as you know as short as you want or as long as you want, depending on where, what you got going on in that day. But like day like today, being outside, it's a good opportunity if you have the space to work on a skill. Okay, so we'll take this to the next step. Okay, we've done this as well in practice. So now we're instead of facing each other, we're, we're like we would be on a field side by side. I'm just, if I'm the passer, I'm a little bit in front of my uh, receiver. Okay, receiver's got to have his hands up, making a target for me to aim at. It's the same mechanics as the last drill. This time the ball's on my outside hip with my outside hand. Again, looking over, looking at the target. I'm going to take the ball, move it through my hands, and snap my wrist and follow through at the target. So once the ball, ball leaves my hand, I'm going to point at Mr. Penga's hands because that's where I want the ball to go. And the rest of my body, I'm in an athletic position. I'm low. I'm protecting myself for a contact after the pass. Okay, so here we go on my hip. Okay, we'll just go. So again, working until you get comfortable. This is hard on my left side. But you can go wider if you need to, but make sure you make a target. That's it. Good pass. Give the guy, give your partners feedback, and maybe your brother, mother, sister, father, whoever, whoever's around you that you can be close to or within a reasonable distance. And so the next progression would be two hands on the ball. So it's the same thing now, but I'm bringing my uh, guide hand in, which gives me a little bit more power. Again, looking at where I'm, where the target is, and I'm following through and snapping my or snapping my wrist and following through. Again, as you get comfortable, you need a little bit more distance. Uh, take it outside and, and don't be afraid to get feedback. That's it, it's where, where I want it. Sometimes I'll pass with my right foot up, sometimes my left foot, just because in the game you never know how you're going to catch the ball. So just working on both, really moving your upper body. Find that target, put it right through, fall through at the target. Okay. So 
remember, make sure you work on both your left hand pass and right hand pass. We're facing the camera, so it's better for us to be in this position, but all you would do with your partner is just turn around, face the other way, then work on the same, the same drills or same exercises, okay? Same cues. And you can never